Hello, my name is Gabriel Quesada from El Salvador. We're going to talk about the long-term follow-up of the small aperture IOLs. The purpose is to report a two-year follow-up with the small aperture IOL to treat breast biopia concurrent with cataract surgery. This is a non-mask, non-randomized retrospective case control study of three different groups of consecutive patients in a private practice in El Salvador. Group number one, small aperture IOL in the non-dominant eye and a monofocal IOL on the dominant eye. Group number two, were small aperture IOL bilateral and group number three, small aperture IOL in irregular corneas. As you can see, the group one mean uncorrected visual acuity in 40 eyes of 40 patients was 2023 20, for distance, 2024 20, for intermediate, and 2030 for near. In the group two with bilateral implantation of the small aperture IOLs, we have a distance vision of 2023, 20, intermediate vision of 2024, 20, and near vision of 2030. This is a comparative uh, slide of the near vision, intermediate, and distance vision from the small aperture IOLs and the monofocal IOLs. And you can see that it goes much better when this, the implantation is bilateral. This is just an example of how you can easily see the retina even through the mask of the small aperture IOL. And after two years, we did have posterior capsular opacification. We have three cases and the jag laser can be done easily with no problems at all. And you can see that the mask is respect and the optic of the IOL is perfectly uh, clear after the JAG uh, application. So as a result, we would say that in the third group, small aperture IOLs for irregular corneas, seven radial keratotomy patients, uh, the topography seen K was 30.9 plus minus two diopters. They had around 13 plus minus two radial cuts per eyes. All patients had a significant decrease in their self-reported symptoms of glare and halos, but the uncorrected visual acuity was stable through the post-operative to 2030 at distance, 2030 intermediate, and 2040 at near. This is one example of the topography of those patients and the retina images through the small aperture IOL in a radial keratotomy patient. In conclusion, we would say that patients with bilateral mass small aperture IOL demonstrated excellent monocular and binocular on aid vision with minimal adverse subjective symptoms. Complex group three of postradial keratotomy and irregular corneas the small aperture IOL result in excellent on aid vision and increase in depth of focus. In all cases, the mask in the small aperture IOL allowed good imaging of the posterior segment. Different instructions for posterior segment examination with the small aperture IOLs are not required, and jag laser capsulotomy can be performed as with any IOLs. Thank you very much.